Hi, so I get the question, hey Kirsch, do you prefer ORCAD or Altium? So I want to cover the main reasons why I choose one over the other for this month, February 2021. Okay, this is not an exhaustive lift list at all, but this is just a quick response to that question for right now. For first of all, user experience. When I open Altium, and the first thing I met with is the home page that has nice videos and graphics and everything. When I compare Altium to ORCAD, I see all my latest videos. They're easy to play. It's just really easy. And ORCAD has this too, right? There's a start page and it has some news, the features, recent projects, and like they have tutorials and stuff. That's pretty good. And it takes you to the website, which is smart. I got to say though, Altium is starting off strong. And then when I go into the schematic, let's say I want to open my schematic or project, right? And I want to go to say any part of the schematic. I don't know if this is default. This is not default. Actually, when you scroll up or down, you do scroll up or down on the on the sheet, right? But the scroll feature in Altium is very smooth. Comparing the scroll feature with ORCAD to scroll to zoom in and out, it's more jittery and it's not as smooth as the Altium one. So Altium takes it on that one. As far as Everything else like a PCB layout, PCB design, pads and footprints and pad stack are just easier to make. So I won't belabor this user experience. Altium takes it. Okay. Next category. Aesthetics. Well, <laughs> if you see my other videos, you know how I might feel or express my uh, interest in how Altium does things. So here I like the, the dark, the, the coal, dark look oops and the and just the overall feel and the design of altium like the pull down menus and the icons i like that style there's also the menu location and positioning of the options reports bill of materials it's just really nice i i can't really put a finger on it and then the menu switch the context menu changes switches so I like the aesthetics and that includes the colors and all that stuff for ORCAD though. Well, not though. I also like the color and icon choices in ORCAD. I like that the icons are larger than they used to be or about the same size, but a little larger than 17.2 and they pop. So the nice pop icons, I'm into that style. The text is kind of small for me. Well, for me, I can read it fine, but like in terms of feel and overall look and feel and vibe, the text works, but it's still sort of mm, maybe old, not old fashioned, just mechanical. Yeah, mechanical engineering software. I feel like I'm using engineering software with ORCAD, whereas with Altium, I feel like I'm using uh, mm, like some something else definitely it's engineering but it feels more polished if that makes sense i don't know if it's the gradients or the skeuomorphism to some degree but i like it so for this one altium takes it for me that is that comes down to aesthetics next computer performance per what all right now orcad takes it why because whenever i'm working on a design in Altium, right? And it gets really big, maybe 24 layers, 30, or however many layers you can go to. And I have noticed some slowdown, even with the, even with the simpler boards, you might have noticed it in some of my Altium tutorials where there's a slight delay sometimes in when the, the copper pour has to re-pour and, and whatnot while I'm routing. Let's see if we do polygon actions, report about violating polygons and all that. Um, there are none. There are none violating here, but there's just like a some slight slowdown in general, though. Everything else is relatively smooth. However, in ORCAD, 
in Orcat, I could be working on, I don't know, a 16 layer board or something. And for the same machine on the same machine, and this thing can just move and zip through and work through it fast. Okay. There's no delay. I mean, there was maybe a glitch there just now. That's strange. But as far as moving things around, it's just snappier and faster. So that's why I say Orcad has better computer performance per watt, right? And of course, you're limited by your machine specs. Okay, next, collaboration. Ooh, which one is easier for collaboration? Uh, I'll just cut to the chase. When it comes to people marking up your schematic and your PCB and whatnot, I can put Altium in a cloud fashion using Altium 365 and people can do design reviews. It's super convenient and they don't need to print off the PDF and all that stuff. They can go look at my design through the cloud. I call it the cloud. It's Altium 365 and do their markups there, leave comments and all that stuff with, oh, and also let's see, you can place notes on here and ah, here we go. And it looks nice. It looks like an actual note and you can edit and modify the text, change the font, and it just looks professional, you know, notes, right? It looks like a note and then you can also add additional text of a certain type, text frame. It's pretty good. Looks professional. In ORCAD Capture, I can leave notes as well. I can do place text notes and say, you know, a special note. However, the most I can do beyond that is to place a rectangle. It's shift R for one rectangle. So, and then I have to like double click and then edit the thing. And it's, so it's like a makeshift way of making notes. It'd just be nice if I could place notes on ORCAD Capture like I can in Altium. So, yeah. For that and more reasons that I'll go into detail in a different video, but for now, Altium takes it for me for collaboration. The next thing is for freelance work. So as a freelancer doing projects for clients, you want to make sure that your work is done well and done right. Right. So, uh, but also that it looks very professional, that it is very professional. And most importantly, if you're a freelancer and you have a system or maybe your system is just getting started for how you get clients, then you want something that is reliable, dependable, and just makes things easy and has everything all in one. That's why for me, Altium wins it in this category for freelancing. I can do everything I need to in Altium. So for instance, placing parts, yes, yeah, schematic and everything, that's great. But I can also right click on my project, add new to project. I can do the PCB, well, of course, and then, but here's the th kicker for me, draftsman document. So what comes with Altium is the draftsman feature where I can do professional drawings in Altium for my PCB. In ORCAD, I need to buy a, a separate add-on for that. And, you know, I just kind of want all my options in one package as opposed to adding them on. However, that does lower the cost in ORCAD. Having a draftsman document right in Altium automatically is very nice. Also, the PCB library and the schematic library, they're all integrated into this one software tool and the CAM document. I can view my Gerber files and it, all in Altium, all my documentation, just everything. And I think that's fantastic. Also, I can split windows and all that. That goes to user experience. I'll go more in depth in that some other time. For ORCAD, I can do a lot. I can do everything I need to, but can I do everything I want to? Like the big kicker for me is that professional looking ease of documentation creation. It's not in here by default. I have to buy it separately. So they're pretty good. They're both really close, but Altium goes the extra mile. So for those reasons, it's looking like Altium, but that's because of ease of use 
and user experience. All right, so this one, who do I choose for, or which one do I choose for trust and certainty that my design will be fabricated properly and if it will work? ORCAD and Altium. For right now, ORCAD, because I have more experience in ORCAD and Allegro. But once my experience and skill set is on the same level, which is getting pretty close in Altium, it's going to be a tie. They both have similar capabilities and options when it comes to design for manufacturing constraints. Also, signal integrity options, because the way they approach constraints, which I'll talk about some other time, but the way they approach constraints and just the whole framework and structure and setup, it's painful. <laughs> but it's reliable it works that's how you can get to design right the first time last but definitely not least and maybe the biggest interest for most for many people because i got this question more than anything not so much on what i prefer but what i would recommend for job opportunities okay if we look at pcb design opportunities a lot of jobs Hmm, maybe even two or three years ago, which is still pretty recent, would mostly mention ORCAD, I've noticed. But lately, there's been um, more of a mix in the U.S. specifically. The overall majority still seems like ORCAD, like this job. But these four at the top, the, two, the first two are Expedition. They want Mentor Graphics Expedition. The third one here, Accurate Controls, they want a Revit designer who does something else like AutoCAD for PCB designer, which is strange. Oh, pads. They want pads. So there's that. Okay. So what's the final verdict? Ah, uh, <laughs> for now, if you're trying to do more corporate level stuff, it really depends on the company. And but for me, I'm going to stick with ORCAD and Allegro because I have more experience in them. But I definitely see Altium as a strong player. And this is my preference for job security, for opportunities in big, big companies. But if I had a personal, like user experience type feel preference, Depending on my mood, I'll go with Altium for the day. But if I want to have a nice PCB design experience and it's just smooth and whatnot, I go with Altium. If I am working to get a job done and I want to check everything and approach constraint management a certain way, then I go with ORCAD. Okay, thanks for watching this video. It was a long review, all for me to say that for now I'm sticking with ORCAD, but Depending on the day, I definitely enjoy me some Altium, all right? Thanks for watching, and I'll give you an update down the road. Later.